what's up guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video we're gonna be discussing about something you've probably already seen all over the chats in your states and we are discussing the boycott that it's going to be hitting rise of empires in a few days we're gonna be explaining a bit what the boycott is and looking at what it wants to accomplish so let's not waste any time and get straight to it now the boycott is a form of protest the entire idea is you stop payment and you stop investments in a certain party until your demands are met and in this case with rise of empires the community is looking to stop any type of payment towards rise of empires so no more buying uh, nothing in the game until the game is finally gonna implement the changes that the community is asking for so uh, let's first talk about the boycott itself the is it a feasible idea because till now everybody complains spenders have been quitting spenders have been selling their accounts and the game has been going downwards ever since but it doesn't seem like rise of empires even cares it probably has something to do with the 42 million dollars that they are making per month again 42 million dollars per month so if there's any language that is wait I, I just remembered they they muted me on discord from the previous videos because i've been disrespectful to players and i don't want to be muted again for being disrespectful to them wait no scratch that I forgot I already left the discord channel because I don't need you the only reason I was in that discord channel was to share my knowledge towards the players I don't care about your discord bro but just for the sake of it let's censor how much I don't give two fucks about you so let's focus back on our subject uh, yeah considering the money that they are making it's obvious that the only language they do speak is money so with this boycott if the community comes together and stops investments in their company then they will listen because they don't have a choice the only reason why the game exists is to make money so if they don't make money they will make changes this is why i'm supporting the idea of a boycott i've been making enough videos trying to tell spenders to calm down their spendings or better at not spend at all because it's not worth it anyway i don't see rise of empires going anywhere in the future but that's just my opinion take it as you want but at least one week of no spending would definitely get their attention and if that doesn't work guess what you do another boycott and another boycott until either the game loses all their money and goes to hell or the players finally realize that there's no point in wasting their money in a stupid mobile game one of the two either way the community wins so let's look a bit on the changes what uh, this boycott is trying to bring to the game i'm gonna be reading them out and then we're gonna be discussing them one by one the community is concerned by the recent over monetization of the game new items introduced every few days at the moment this is causing the players at many different levels to leave the game we wish to try and protect the existing community by asking this is slowed many concerns about the blood soaked dragonite for example now on this channel such information is not new because i've already discussed a million times how greedy the game is and how much they keep raising the stakes for the spenders and the spenders keep saying yes so on this part i blame the spenders if you want to spend on certain things fine with me if you just buying absolutely everything that's there no matter the cost then it's your fault bro but on that note 
spenders are also the players that make a game go on because without any investments there would be no game so i'm kind of on both sides here i do want the spenders themselves as players to learn to control their spendings but on the other hand i also look at the free to play players and how the game is breaking any type of limit between spenders and them so as much as i'm concerned for the first point i don't care about how much they're adding to the spending because that's the choice of the player but i am of the opinion that the game should work on balancing the difference between spenders and free to play players because otherwise you don't have a bloody game if the spenders just want to play by themselves then by all means continue doing the same thing you've been doing now because you're not gonna have free to players to play with everybody's gonna be useless and you're just playing against other people that just waste their money at the same way you are that's just my personal opinion but let's move on a fairer gaming environment in rise of empires the most obvious being the improvement needed in matchmaking for eden but also the additional testing required at development level to ensure bugs such as the joker hack double shields cheap dm gears and mountain issues are identified at testing stage not after weeks of being in main game code a game which is generating such large amounts of revenue should have more thorough testing process customers deserve a better quality product stop rushing out content so stop rushing out content first of all start making content because rise of empires has been way slow in actually giving anything new to the players i've already talked about it in my videos from reign of chaos to reign of chaos to reign of chaos to reign of chaos then eden something new then eden 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 then Eden Conflict, which is still Eden, but whatever. Eden, 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 Eden. Followed by, guess what? Eden Conquer, which is still Eden. So Eden, Eden, Eden. They don't add anything new. So, taking that together with what I said at the beginning, $42 million per month. I agree on that point jesus christ how hard is it to make a good game with so much investment from your players how stupid are you as a ceo not as the developer because the developers don't have a choice in this but as a ceo when you see a business growing and the clients wanting more how stupid are you not to invest in them just saying and in this of course we also put all the bugs all the changes that make no sense uh, i want to also add to it balancing heroes because heroes are the main part of the game everything revolves around the heroes yes stats matter but if a hero just decides to activate all his skills and the maxed out spender heroes are not gonna activate his skills you're just gonna burn him with the, the it doesn't matter how many stats he has you just kind of burn him and that shouldn't be normal if your heroes would be balanced something that this game hasn't seen from the very beginning and we are already what in third year fourth year so jesus christ yes use at least some of that money to make the game better and offer the players something new for the money they pay you number three optimize recruitment introduced personally i would propose the two banners which lss get which have one hero from each one each one of the last four seasons on them this could be introduced introduced in mid-season and still have the current format in first week for players that want to try for heroes immediately but get rid of s61 heroes at least if you have seen my last video the one where i opened the rewards i've already discussed something similar to this my opinion is uh, the rewards of such a big event like eden which is the main event of the game if you get to eden and before that you have reign of chaos and so on considering how much time 
and effort you invest in a full season we're talking about months of gameplay spending and time you should have at least the choice of one or two heroes and i say the choice that i mean like literally selecting the specific hero you want and having it if you won the entire event if you won your map after so much stress and money then at least one bloody hero you can afford i know you're greedy fucks but still you could put one hero it's not even unbalance is already an insulting word here it's not normal it's unplayable that you need to spend three to four seasons to get one hero maxed out when you need three heroes for one legend and you have five legends what the hell so how are you gonna get that tokens <laughs> or super scrolls unless you are a spender and you are spending what hundred thousand five hundred just to get one or two heroes maxed out you are never gonna make it so what the hell so as much as this sounds cute what i'm saying makes more sense from a free to play player uh stand -up point of view there's no chance for a free to play player to catch up even remotely to the spenders specifically because of the heroes so at least that after an entire season of working your butt out you should have the choice of one hero like that you actually worked for something you fight for something not to s do all your efforts and just turn them into the type of rewards that i got last season number four allow the majority of items to be available for all players even if you have to grind to obtain within a realistic time frame not years <clears throat> let's finish it <laughs> so as others have suggested skins obtainable from tokens or some other accumulated consumables <clears throat> this is <clears throat> i feel like i'm just reliving my old videos um, yes of course i agree to all of this the items the same like i've just talked about the heroes should have a feasible way of getting them and not just keep pushing the spending part like <laughs> the game is about playing the game not about wasting your money you want to add elements to catch players to make your investment fair enough but it still has to be a game that you play to be the best and not just pay to be the best so when the same like the heroes there are items in the game that you can only get if you're spending or items in the game that you could get if you're free to play players in a million years then the game is going nowhere bro you are literally destroying your community the players are leaving not because they got bored of the game but because they are sick like you don't leave anybody a choice then to leave this stupid game and number five and the last one improved customer service training for the in-game help team with consistent answers explanations and better communications in general from the developers improve as in what like make one because as a free-to-play player i can tell you that there is no <laughs> customer service for us spenders have their more uh, unique customer service so if you are a free-to-play player and you didn't know big spenders have another customer service where the developers actually listen to so if you're complaining about that customer service not being good enough then i'm sorry for you but we don't get any customer service as a free-to-play player if you want to complain about a bug or a problem in your game then you you don't get an answer you just get biberish chinese to english translation so if we're going to be talking about customer service first of all hire people that speak english hire people that either have connection to developers in like a good connection not like send you an email and respond me in a week so i can tell that player what he wants 
and put people there that actually play the game to give you feedback so when you encounter problems from the players you already have the majority of the answers ready or even better going back to the previous points you deal with the bugs yourself before the players even have to complain about it just saying so on that note let me just give the free-to-play players a gift from Kalistos, the free-to-play player youtuber here is the viber contact if you want to contact the special service that the big spenders have uh, and if you just want to spam their heads with it by all means go for it so overall the opinion about the boycott again I support it I think it's a great idea and it's still the first step to a better game personally I'm very pissed with Rise of Empires I am sick of Rise of Empires I am looking to go into a different direction with my YouTube channel and just create content for anything else because the game is so downgrading but if there's any chance of this game not going to shit it's gonna be this boycott and again if this boycott doesn't work then the next boycott will and then the next boycott until it's gonna get the job done so i advise every spender out there to get together with the rest of the community stop your spending from the second all week long and just remind rise of empires that you are the customers and they have to serve you and not the other way around that's it for me guys thanks again for checking in please share the video all along spread the message if you enjoyed it leave a like and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next videos